So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service one time and then click on D on your keyboard. We're now gonna find DCOM server process launcher. Double click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna make the startup type automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running. So make sure that you have automatic and running and then click on okay. Now you wanna click on R on your keyboard. You wanna find remote procedure call. There's gonna be two of them. Repeat this for both of them. So for the first one, remote procedure call, double click on it. Again, startup type on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. And now for the one under it, remote procedure call, double click on it. Startup type, automatic, and then click on start, which will then make the service status running, and then click on OK. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to search and type in allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click on it. And now for the next step, you're going to click on change settings. We're now going to find remote assistance. We're going to scroll down till we find remote assistance. Make sure that you have this turned on for private. You're going to tick private, and then click on OK. However, if it's still not working after that, you can now tick public and then click on OK again. However, this can be a little bit more risky, so you can do more research into this if you want to. But for most of you guys, if you just leave it on private, make sure you tick private and then click on OK, then you should be fine. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to search and type in system configuration. Click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure you have normal startup selected. You want to select normal startup and then click on OK. And now for the last step, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.